So I picked this up off of eBay. Came with a brand new Gator case. I'm going to see what there's anything or anything inside here, which there is. So you get the whammy bar here, which I think it is missing something here. There's supposed to be a sleeve inside of here. And then luckily I have spare parts for this. Gave me a set of Ernie Ball custom gauge. These are the power slinkies, 11 to 48, which I've never tried those before. I want to see how they are. Inside so here, I've got, let's see, the inspection card and the gator case decal or label. I'm not sure if this is a decal or what, but I don't think it is. And I think that's it inside of here. So let's check out inside the case. Find the zipper. It's right down here. Nice padded gator case. Geek bag, whatever you want to call it. So here is the guitar. Now what I'm doing is I'm trying to pick up a few guitars here and there for reasonable prices and what I want to do is start customizing these guitars instead of going with a lot of no-name brands and stuff uh, or kind of the lower end of a brand name I kind of want to go with something a little bit higher end so I found this one I also am keeping an eye on another one of these that I want to uh, do custom paint job on as well so let's get this one open So here we are. So this is an Ivanez. It's not in very bad shape at all. And I gotta say that it's in pretty pristine shape for, I wanna say how old this is. Now I think I said in a video that this was the S570. This is not the 570, this is the S 520EX and it's in really nice shape still has the plastic over the truss rod cover does not have the trap door truss rod cover um, back plates are in perfect shape I mean there's not even scratched or nothing this has that trim which is probably detuned so it's probably not sitting on there but it's got the, the Z tram on there I believe it's called it's got the hinge on it so one of the things I'm gonna check out here is I'm gonna put this in place I know it's not gonna sit and this isn't even the right this isn't even the right screw for it so One of the things that you could do if you could tell that the bearings are worn out on these is you can kind of move it a little bit and see if the bearings are having a slop in them. They seem to be pretty tight. It's got the, to set the intonation, it's got the screw on the back over here. It's always nice to have. A little bit of rust on it so I will be working on this thing and polishing up a lot of the bits on here this has got the what the infinity one and infinity two pickups looks like all the screws are here doesn't look like nothing's missing knobs this will all be replaced it's got the old, feels like a wider neck string spacing feels a little bit more wider too instead of having the bars over here or the smallest uh, lightning bolt lines or whatever it's got like the scratch marks here inside the fretboard inlays headstock everything looks good yeah this will be a nice custom job when I get done with it so I want the headstock to match the body I am going to keep the binding I'm not going to change that out the frets on this thing look pretty decent or not too bad 
right now let's see the neck is like perfectly straight there's no relief in it whatsoever yeah so let's see how this works when I hit this thing I'll probably use the same pickups that are on here probably replace some of the electronics um, but when I do this the pickups and pickup rings will be sprayed the same color as the body and these are the metal these are the metal pickup rings so it looks like everything works nothing looks like it's destroyed or in piss poor shape frets look alright like I said um, I want to check some of these frets out to make sure there there's no gap between the fretboard sometimes with these frets the light makes a shadow and it kind of looks like that there's a gap between the fret and the fretboard and really there isn't and a good way to check that out is using like a um, a 2000s shim and kind of go up inside there if you can get the shim underneath the fret then the frets risen if it's not then it's flat on the surface of the fretboard yeah so this would be the next one after the devil in well one of the next ones after the devil in this is why you don't throw away parts look familiar same bridge but in Cosmo black whammy bar that's supposed to go on this one this post here that is too big this doesn't thread on there it kind of flops around but I've got two other ones one of them is a little bit chewed up this one is not and it fits on there screws on there perfectly no problems also the hinge with the bearings now I know one of these bearings is bad so I'll have to check which one it is and these are two bearings there's not just one here there's two of them on here so you want to make sure you keep on both of them but one of them is bad so if I check these bearings out and if one of them is bad well I have one that's good these screws here they're a little bit on the rusty side well I have a whole set of them here that are nice and shiny and yeah even has for intonation I even have that too which is in better shape than what this one is that's why you don't throw away spare parts